guys and welcome to another vlog. Now I look crazy. I have so many baby hairs. Like what? What? Like what? This is what happens when you bleach your hair, especially this one's like fucking crazy. Anyways, I decided to cut the, my past vlog short because, I don't know, I wanted to include uh, quite a bit more I want to say, so I didn't want to include like all of that in my previous vlog. Anyways, I want to start including more non polenting things as well, just things going on in my life and my vlog. That being said, today I started school again, like spring courses. I'm sitting on a balcony by the way, if you can't tell. But today I started spring courses and I'm, I had only like three hours of sleep, but that's besides the point. But I'm actually like excited kind of because I uh, got like the topics I wanted. So basically in one of my courses we have presentations each week, but in the beginning of term we're assigned a disorder and that's the disorder, disorder that we, like a mental disorder, mental illness. That's the disorder that we have to work with all term. We just get different topics. So for example, the first one is gonna be like diagnostic criteria, like what is the disorder basically. And then like, I don't know what the second one is, but it could be for example, biological factors. And then one topic can be biological treatments. So everyone has different disorders, but we'll have the same topics. And then every week we have to do our own research and present, uh, it was a long explanation. I got the disorder I wanted. I wanted bipolar. No, not bipolar. Why did I say bipolar? It's because the, these two disorders get mixed a lot and they both, both start on B. But I got borderline personality disorder. The reason I wanted to have that disorder, I actually requested it from the professor. Uh, the reason why I want to have it is because I'm gonna like turn my viewfinder around because I keep looking at myself. Hi. Yeah, I have a friend who has a borderline personality disorder, so I'm interested in knowing more about it. There's some other disorders I'm interested in too, but I know a lot about them already, so I wanted to take one that I like, I'm familiar with in the sense that I have friends that have it, but that I don't know that much about, so I'm excited for that. And then in the second class, I don't know if anyone even cares about this, I'm just talking to a camera out on my balcony just chilling. But yeah, the second one, uh, second class is uh, family dynamics or family processes and we're gonna have a seminar presentation at the end of that class and I got the topic I wanted which is alcoholism so alcoholism within the family like therapies for it and stuff like that fuck it's cold why is it so cold like fuck I'm like waiting for it to get warm because usually it's warm around this time in Winnipeg and I'm sitting on my balcony just you know in denial that it's not warm so yeah I'm happy about those things and then also, I've been doing a bunch of decluttering and I'm trying to like keep up with my cleaning and I like a clean space, I just am not always to like have, always, not always able to have a clean space because I don't have the habits, but I want it, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, there's some people that kind of have it messy but they don't really care. I care, I just like can't keep up with it, so I'm trying to keep up with it, I'm decluttering. And on that topic, me and my friend Daria are gonna go thrift shopping today and I'm gonna donate some things and I'm gonna actually film a thrift store video for you guys to show you guys what I found we went like about a little over a week ago to the thrift store as well and yeah I'm gonna combine the things I got from both shopping halls just to show you guys that you can't actually find shit when you're thrifting okay that was a lot of babbling sometimes I question what the point of vlogs are you know I was actually laying in bed yesterday and I was like what's the point of YouTube like it's so weird when you think of it like why do I like putting a camera in front of my face and talking to it like it's like am I that lonely <laughs> not, not, I don't think I'm lonely, it's just like, I was thinking about it and I'm thinking of making a video about it actually, like a, like a not a vlog style a video, just talking about like, what's the point of YouTube? Because I was just thinking about it, I couldn't sleep yesterday, that's why I have 3 hours of sleep, my class is at 8.30, but I was thinking, what's the point of YouTube? And I kind of came to the conclusion that I think the overall thing, the reason why people do YouTube is probably because probably they want to be seen. And people always try to make that a bad thing, like, oh, you're attention an attention whore. But it doesn't have to be, you know, selfish in that way. It can be just, you know, like, I, I, I was thinking about for myself, like, I like expressing myself and I want to be heard and I want to help people in being heard, you know what I mean? And, oh god, it's cold. And I, I just want to share life with people and share, try to like, share the beauty of life and in that sense I'm also, you know, 
helping myself see the beauty in life and I just think people want to express themselves I feel like there's a certain kind of niche of people that have YouTube channels and I feel like it's a it's a need to be heard or something I don't know and I also was thinking for myself because I'm kind of like I guess I have a bit of a like I don't know what you call it not passive personality but like I don't like any kind of confrontation and so if people often talk over me like interrupt me and talk over me I don't know why I mean I guess I kind of know why and I feel like with YouTube I ha the stage is mine I can talk and no one's gonna interrupt me you know what I mean so anyways that just came from me questioning why I'm vlogging I hope this is interesting to someone <laughs> but yeah I think I'm gonna move into my room because it's fucking cold in here so I'll see you guys in there <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm not gonna lie, it's probably like two weeks later. I just haven't really gotten around to sitting down and filming vlog clips. However, I do still remember what I wanted to say. And it is regarding pole dancing, since the vlogs are supposed to be kind of like pole dancing focused. But although I do want to start bringing in other random rambling as the previous clips showed. But yeah, I wanted to mention that I'm getting a lot better at the Aisha's, which is the album just insert a clip here of the clip that I showed you guys in my, I think my last vlog. I just gotten the Aisha and I'm super happy and in that vlog I said that the next step is the split grip one that looks like this and uh, yeah, guess what? <laughs> I can do that now. Last time I went to open pole, which is basically, uh, there's just an instructor present and you can like work on your own stuff. They're not really instructing the class. You're just there to like work on whatever you want to work on. So last time, like about a week ago, I just was like, you know, trying to do like a handspring like into it, like where you jump from the ground into it. And I realized, I thought, I was like, I think I can do it. I think I'm gonna go for it. And I asked the teacher for some tips and she said to like, try to tuck your pelvis in um, so kind of like uh, I don't know how to show you guys basically like tucking your pelvis in so like kind of like squeezing your butt and like trying to get your butt to go upwards you'll see in the video clip what I mean and I was able to do it for like two or three seconds I was holding myself up and I can't wait to go tomorrow and see if I'm better side note I ended up not being better I ended up being actually way worse this day I think it's probably because I wasn't looking up towards the ceiling whereas I should be doing that instead of trying to look in the mirror because apparently doing that aligns your body as it should be aligned when you're doing this position I'm trying not I'm not working out too much at the gym like with my like shoulder like my upper body just because my shoulder is still kind of off and I don't want to risk hurting it so yeah I've been kind of falling off the gym thing for a bit because I've also been busy with school it's not an excuse but yeah that's just the truth but I have been going to pole dancing so that's the main thing that I need to do honestly even going just two times a week to pole dancing is very helpful and will make me get better so it just would be faster if I went to also to the gym anyway so yeah I, may, I was able to do that I also am a way better at the Aisha like the original one I showed you guys I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys. <laughs> I'll link the other vlog, the past vlog, down in the description if you haven't watched it. Maybe you should watch it, I don't know. But yeah, I'm also way better at that. I'll insert some clips uh, of how much better I am at those. I can do it straight up and I can do like almost like the splits in it, which I don't know, it's just so much fun getting better. And also another thing that I learned, so there's different ways you can invert, so like go upside down on the pole. One is w one where you like hold, this is the one you learn first where you like hold the pole like this. It's not as much core strength as the one I finally just learned to do, which is a shoulder mount. So, okay, this is gonna be interesting. Well, I guess I'll sh you'll see the video, but basically this is the pole and, <laughs> okay, I don't know why I'm doing it like this. Okay, well, I'll, you'll see the video, I'll insert it here. So basically you have the pole right behind you and it's digging into your shoulder. Like you're literally putting all your weight into your shoulder. So partly when you're learning it, you have to learn a technique and learn to tolerate the pain and then eventually it won't be painful. But yeah, I finally learned to do that and I got up on the pole. It's not the most graceful, it doesn't look that good. But when I first started learning it, I was so bad. Like, it's so scary too to do it that way because you don't feel as secure as you do when you're holding the pole like this. But yeah, that's pretty sick. Another thing, also, I'll insert a clip. I'm getting better at my aerial inverts. So it's inverting in the air. I'm getting better at those and like, the clip I'm showing you now, probably showing you now, I'm sp doing it in as I'm kind of spinning around the pole. Like I'm not, it's not on spinning pole, but I'm kind of like 
going in a spinning climb and then going straight into it, which I don't know. I just feel like I just feel like I'm getting better. I'm getting moves. I always wanted to be able to do that split grip by Isha. Like I thought that always looked so crazy and now I'm I'm doing it and it's just like the craziest feeling. I feel like that's <laughs> gonna be me every time I get a move. I'm gonna find uh I'm gonna, I think, find some moves that I'm gonna try tomorrow, some specific moves. Because I want to start making an actual plan for when I go to open pole, so I don't stand there and, like, don't know what I want to do. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys found this vlog interesting, somehow. <laughs> Let me know what kind of stuff you guys want to see, both in my vlogs and my regular videos. I really appreciate, or like, I appreciate your comments and I like taking into account what you guys want to see. Because obviously it's partly, this is partly, it's for me, but also partly, you know, for you guys to like, be interested in. Or like, yeah, so, have a nice day. I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Hopefully I won't be as slow as, at making that vlog as I was at this one, but yeah. See you guys, bye!